A handsome Jack is, you know, this guy that you kind of like, but at the same time, he's a bad guy. Um, you know, we've we've all seen characters like this that they have a lot of power and they're really suave and really cool, but at the same time, you kind of fundamentally know that they're that they're evil. And so, we you know we try to give him this 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 really uh, attractive manly face with the long chin, and uh, at the same time, there's just something a little wrong with him when you look at it. And so you, you sort of know that that underneath there, there's going to be something a little uh, a little off. Jack buying Hyperion and using it to sort of take over Pandora, we wanted to have a really strong symbolism for what Hyperion was and, and what that devastation meant to Pandora because Pandora was already, already a pretty bad place. Like, how do you mess up a bad place? And we realized that it was, you know, to mess with what people loved about Pandora in the first place, which was the bandits, and they, they loved all the crazy, wacky fun. And so really, we, we, the visual language for Hyperion became straight and plain uh, because, and that's not fun, right? Like, straight lines are boring. We really tried to make uh, that style really conflict with all the crazy, junky, bandity stuff that you were used to from the first game. So, for example, uh, you know, might have a janky little bandit town with fun signs and crazy skills, and and they've, you know, Hyperion has just come in and paved the place and and, and painted it yellow. And so you're just sort of like, damn, you, you you wrecked it, you know. And so that way, he still is the bad guy, even though he's he's killing the bad guys. <laughs> One of the first questions I ask myself is how will people know when they see a screenshot of Borderlands 2 that it's Borderlands 2 instead of Borderlands 1? And uh, once I knew Jack was going to be this, this uh, huge sort of industrial millionaire, I knew I needed him to do something really big to Pandora that, that we didn't like. And the moon was ever present in Pandora because of the way our, our day and night cycle works in the game. The moon never, never moves and it's the source of light. And so I wanted him to sort of blot that out by putting his giant Hyperion H right in front of it. <laughs> and I wanted you to sort of be like, damn those jerks, they're like shitting all over my Pandora, <laughs> you know? Uh, and, and so that's really where that whole idea came from. And uh, since Hyperion invented Claptrap, um, the Hyperion eye is always a sort of a central image. You know, wherever you go, it's always up there in the sky staring down at you. And you, you kind of always know that, that he's got an eye on you. And, and that definitely comes up in the, in the story as well.